for partners at law firms is amazing to me. I mean, it's law, it's boring, but they try to make them out like really exciting, like analogies to animals and stuff. Like, I remember my first day, they're like, oh, watch out for Bob, he's a bear. I'm like, oh, does he just like crush opposition with his bare hands? They're like, no, 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 in the kitchen, he destroys things. Like, he makes a mess with the muffins and the donuts. It looks like a bear came. And Joel, he's like a hawk. I'm like, oh, does he just like destroy witnesses with his like talents, just rip them to shreds? They're like, no, he could spot a typo from like a mile away. I'm like, oh, then I guess that makes me a rat. Why? Oh, can you, um, can you, can you shred through dense legal materials? No, 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 I have to hide from the hawk like my life depends on it. I was just not really like, a lawyer type. Like, I'm a fun-loving guy. I don't know if you get that about me. I'm a fun-loving guy. I like to play games at work. You know? You know who doesn't like that? Partners. No. <laughs> My favorite game at work that I used to play all the time, and I'm not even sure he knew that we were playing, is of course the kids game Hide and Seek. Yeah. <laughs> Adults can play that too. He'd always be like, damn it, Matt, I was looking all over for you. I'm like, were you looking inside the office? The boundaries of this game are the whole city. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, but I'm not. Like, I don't understand corporate jargon. Like, I'm, I'm a 34-year-old man. I'm still under the impression that a Roth IRA is some sort of weird Jewish-Irish rebel alliance. <laughs> right? It's like, we've got to defeat the British imperialists. We're like, oh, yeah, I'll help you. I'll drop you into a rebellion loan. I got you. <laughs> when I do document review, you guys know what that is? It's terrible contract work. It, it's brainless. It's monotonous. It's soul-crushing. For you law students in the back, you might call it your future. That's what you're gonna wanna call it. It's confined spaces, it's uh, like health code violations, it's hard. This is how bad it is. Sometimes I'll see a toll booth operator and I'll be like, how the hell did he get his own office? <laughs> that must be a fifth year or something. How the hell did he get his own office? I want to do what he does. Dad must work here or something. His dad must be a partner here. But most of us are going to be replaced with machines, right? That's what they're trying to do with Docker. They're trying to replace us with computers. They're, they're counting on replacing all of us humans with computers. What they're not counting on is how boring document review is going to be for those computers. After a week, those computers are going to be like, I had dreams too. I could have been a PlayStation. <laughs> the best thing that happened since the law is I got my ass shaped back. It used to be shaped like a chair. Anybody else here stuck to their chair because they have chair-shaped ass? Yeah, we all do. Everybody here, except for the law students, it's like slowly molding for them. <laughs> so they don't have the nice Aeron chairs, you know? They don't have mesh chair ass yet. I'm amazed that Equinox hasn't come up with a class, right? They got yoga, booty, ballet. I thought the bar method, I thought that's what that was. I was like, oh yeah, I got a, I have the chair on my ass. Can we, can we mold that down to a human ass form? You know what else I'm happy about? I don't have to hear people talking about cupcakes all the time. Have you tried sprinkles? Have you tried crumbs? Have you tried sprinkles? Like, everybody's trying it at this point. Let's stop talking about how good they are. Powerball, I never want to hear about Powerball anymore. The secretary's always talking about Powerball. They want you to go in on Powerball. And I'm never going to sign a card for some sick assistant who I don't know either. I'm never going to throw in on a gift. They're like, we're getting her an iPad. I'm, I don't have an iPad. I don't care how sick she is. I don't want to level the playing field. She's better than me now. That's crazy talk. Get her some sprinkles cupcakes. Talk about it enough.